Yeah, I think the title uh, Modern Foundation may be quite fitting here. If by modern foundation we mean a scientific approach to AI. And by that I mean that we start with a model of, the, of reality and we ask ourselves what should the world be like in order for our procedure to succeed or in order for our procedure to answer sophisticated questions about reality. So what has been accomplished in the past three decades is the development of a language in which we can describe what we know about the uh, world and what we want to ask about the world. And it is uh, strange that uh, it took uh, so long for this language to develop. But right now, we can answer questions of three important levels. One is a prediction. Second, the effect of actions and intervention. And the third one, explanation. Why things happen the way they did and what would have happened had things not occurred as they did. So this three level of uh, sophistication is what the language now captures and that is what we mean by an understanding. Well, uncertainty is a commodity that uh, prevails in everyday decision-making, even crossing the street or taking aspirin or speaking with your friend. And uh, we had a quite a hard time in computer science to enable a computer to deal with the barrage of noise and uncertain information that one has about the world to come out with a conclusion which is a coherent result of all the clues that one gave in ordinary operation. So my work has developed a calculus for a probabilistic reason that allows a computer to handle all the noisy information that it, it gets put them together and come out with a probability about the conclusions. Well, causal relationship has been a very uh, tough obstacle for both men and machine to handle because we do not have the language to capture the idea that the rooster crow does not cause the sun to rise, even though it comes before the sunrise and it constantly predicts the sunrise. Okay. So to, uh, as in, in the language we have uh, fumbles such as m the name malaria, it comes from mal air, bad air, when generation of people believe that smelling the uh, air from uh, swamps is causing the disease. Uh, so this is kind of um, mistake that we made because of our inability to properly process cause effect clues we get from the environment. Now we have a language for doing that. So we can insert the, our knowledge that we have about the world and infer coherently like we do in algebra, infer the conclusion and the conclusion is uh, proven to be correct if the assumptions are correct. The applications are enormous. The application goes from, from personalized medicine to uh, putting to here the handling of epidemic like COVID, putting together a variety of information sources coming from various hospitals, from various countries, and coming out with a coherent conclusion based on the evidence that we have. Of course, there is a cause for concern 
And of course, computers will do eventually everything that human beings can do, and much better because of the speed and the capacity. Uh, there is room for concern, and we have to manage uh, the possibilities or prevent the possibilities that com computer, intelligent computer, will get out of control. But I like to use the metaphor of bringing and educating your children. The co which computer should be looked upon as a new generation of children that we train, that we bring up, that we educate with the hope that they will conform to the value system of their parents and their teachers. Okay. So there is room for concern. We have to make sure that we, they don't exceed and become wild. But at the same time, we have at least one uh, metaphor that tells us it, it, it is dangerous, but it's doable. We can program organisms to follow the value system of their creators.